Hi everybody, I'm Joe List here for the PBL Roundup, and I am outside of Flathead Field in Flathead Valley, Montana, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life, and I'm about to meet the Vice President of the Range Riders to get a tour of the brand new stadium that's not even finished. You can hear that in the background. They're still building it as we speak. Come on, let's go see the ballpark. All right, let's meet Chris Kelly. Chris, you are the Vice President of Operations here for the Glacier Range Riders, is that right? That's right, that's what they tell me. All right. Let's, ta let's see the ballpark. Take me around. Let's do it. We got a lot of great colors here. Uh, the architects did a great job. Everybody's been really involved in uh, uh, picking out a lot of aspects that really represent the community and nature around here. Nice, and I like the the wood panel. That's is that to represent all these cabins and stuff because it has a great cabin feel. Yeah, we wanted you to feel like you're up here in Montana in the woods. Uh, feel like you're part of nature. So it's all uh, natural pine from around the area. Absolutely, this is fantastic. I can't wait to see more. Yeah, as you can see, we still got uh, crews working all around the ballpark every day. So crews working hard, starting every morning, uh, wrap up before games, and uh, you know, try and get it cleaned up and ready for fans every night. Now, can I ask, do the crew do they get premier seats for the games, or are they done with the after they're done working? No, no, the crews uh, the crews are the best fans that we got. So uh, we couldn't have done this without them. We're uh, really happy that uh, uh, they've been with us this whole time through the through the winter months where uh, you couldn't stand up here without the the snow blowing at you but uh, now we're really into having a lot of fun so now let me ask how brutal are the winters here because I saw a sign that said the sun is finally out are the winters brutal here uh, up on this hilltop it got about uh, I think we saw wind chills a negative 20 uh, over the winter so we had uh, we had ground thaw machines going all winter and uh, it was pretty wild we had some crazy days up here but we never stopped good lord well it looks awesome I can't wait all right, here we go. I mean, what a spectacular view already. I mean, the mountains in the background. And this is Glacier National Park out in the outfield? Yeah, Glacier National Park is out uh, towards uh, right center there. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of views here. We like to say we have 360-degree views at uh, anywhere you look. Uh, we're really proud of the way, uh, the way the setup is here, where you come in through the concourse and you're immediately granted uh, uh, just a pristine view of uh, 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 Montana's best to offer. I mean, this is dynamite. And what is the field made out of? Because that looks just magical. Yeah, so that's our uh, all synthetic turf field. Uh, no dirt, no grass anywhere, uh, including the mound, the boxes, the infield. It's all turf. Uh, so it's, uh, it's turf with mow patterns put into it. And it's uh, topped off with the coconut husk. So that's what, uh, that's what gave you that real nice feel last night when you're out there on the field. No kidding. And now I was eating some of the stuff, and then I kind of got a bellyache. So do you advise against eating the field here? No, no, no. What, what really goes well with it is uh, lime and ice. So that's why uh, you see us icing down the mound every night. All right. I'm gonna get, you heard it here first. You can eat the, like, like Novak Djokovic at Wimbledon. You can eat the grass here. Tennis fans out there, Wimbledon's going on right now. It's very exciting. Um, I have a rule that you can't move. Okay. Uh, uh, I guess. Yeah. All right. Here we are. We're down the uh, first baseline, shallow right field. I mean, what, not a bad seat in the place, wouldn't you say? No, there really isn't a bad seat. That's sort of the uh, the joke about the whole thing is uh, uh, it's only 2,500 seats, so every seat is close to the game. I mean, this is really spectacular. And this is the bullpen. Now, I, I was down here last night that people will see, and this is where the real lunatics on the team hang out. Have you have you hung out with any of the bullpen guys? Are they crazy on your side? Yeah, that, that the bullpen is where crazy stuff happens. That, that's where uh, theories are made up. That's exactly right. We tried to write some songs. All right, we are on the field. And God, it feels so good. I mean, this is just magical. A field of dreams, I would say. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, you know, topped with coconut. So, field of dreams topped with coconut. But, uh, yeah, no, we, we're really happy with the field. It's taken uh, some rainy days that uh, uh, other fields just wouldn't even been playable, and uh, we've played right through them. Yeah, I noticed now, I, I was an honorary uh, member of a team over here, and I got hit with an ice bath. The ice just melts. Was that going to be an issue? I was worried I had to clean up the ice. No, no, uh, again, you know, uh, we just should have given you some lime to go with it, so. I, I appreciate that. It was, it was quite nice. I mean, this is just gorgeous. How did you come up with the dimensions? Was that uh, the designer of the ballpark? Did you guys have an idea yourselves, or how does that work? So we knew the uh, prevailing wind was the right field, uh, so we knew we wanted to try and keep some balls in the ballpark. So uh, right field's a little bit uh, as deep as we could make it with a little bit higher wall. And then uh, one of the first meetings that we sat down and started – writing our uh, goals for the ballpark on paper uh, somebody said well, what do we want the center field to be and we said ah, 400 405 and uh, uh, somebody said 
why not 406, the area code of Montana? So uh, that's what we uh, drew up in the plans and sort of hid away for the the, uh, the whole time during construction. And then uh, it was a real nice surprise for the crew when they saw the center field uh, uh, sign go up and uh, saw the nice outline of Montana with the 406. It was a big cheer. So. That's beautiful because I was out shopping today, walking around, and I saw a lot of shirts with the 406, and now I'm putting it together that that's uh, the area code there, which is awesome. And that seems like the funnest thing to me of designing a baseball field is coming up with the dimensions. And these are beautiful dimensions. you got the nice high wall out in right field, nice low fence in left field, and, uh, and all, the, all the hitters were complimenting the batters out here. They said this is a good place to hit. Yeah, it's turned out really great. We got uh, we got some cows that come out in center field there, so you're able to see some cows come out uh, between uh, innings every now and then. But uh, yeah, you know it's awesome. Tell me a little bit about the bench. I don't know if we can swing around and get a shot of this. These the yeah. benches here, the dugouts. I mean, we're gonna go in there. These are so beautiful. The the wood here. I w tell me about the wood and the decision to make it this way. Where'd you go? Yeah. So these are our uh, dugouts. We're really proud of our dugouts. They're. Uh, uh, larger than some MLB uh, pro level dugouts uh, and uh, f huge roof uh, heaters in them for the winter time and uh, ready to play ball year round. Uh, instead of going with the traditional sort of plastic uh, benches, we decided to have a local craftsman make us some uh, some live edge benches out of Montana timber. So. Yeah, these are beautiful, and I got to hang out in there last night. Very comfortable, and also the best feature for a nervous Nelly like me bathroom in in the dugout i mean this is beautiful yeah you know you, you got to have the bathroom in the dugout right where what what else are you without a bathroom in the dugout are we savages i was really worried i was going to have to sprint up the right field line and you know take care of my business there as i got <laughs> closer and closer to game time but beautiful facility in here just don't go in there for a couple of days <laughs> all right <laughs> Okay. All right. Here we go. We're down into the dugout, and a beautiful dugout it is. And like you said, extremely spacious, especially when you're a, um, a comedian visiting. You know, you want to be able to keep your space for the players as it gets intense in here. And it was nice because I could just hide down here so they wouldn't, uh, you know, throw. Yeah, I know you season. spent most of your time in the bullpen last night, but uh, you know, this isn't a bad place to take it a game from either. So you know, maybe if uh, maybe if that three years eligibility you get picked back up again someday, uh, maybe you get to see it from this end. I'm going to try. I feel like I was impressive in batting practice. My, my, my fielding was a bit subpar and, quite frankly, humiliating. But what can you do? But I mean, this is just a fantastic view. I mean, the, the green trees, the mountains, the ballpark. I, I'm in heaven. I don't have a question. I just wanted to say this is heavenly. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular. Uh, you, re you, you think you're a million miles from anywhere up here. So that was something that uh, we really wanted to make sure that we took care of uh, building this ballpark was making sure that... Uh, you felt like you were in Montana and not uh, not next to uh, you know uh, any development. So.